Boom. What's up, guys? Welcome to the MLS Offers Live show where we make MLS offers live. Today, our goal is to get 20 offers. Big goal. So we better get to work and we better be hyper-focused and just freaking bang them out one after the other. Holy crap. That's way too bright. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So first thing we're going to do is share my screen. All right, cool. Now, let's get to work. Let's start calling. So we're going to pull it up on Zillow first. Take a look at it. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. All right, let's call. Thank you for calling Savvy Avenue Real Estate. Please listen carefully to the following options. Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't care for the voicemail service, so I just abandon them. Um, let me make a note: abandon VM answering machine service. Don't bring back update so that I make that note so that my VA knows not to bring them back in the future when he comes across them. All right, and then on to the next one. <clears throat> Let's pull it up on Zillow. What's up, guys? Let's see who I have here with us. Uh, Matt Rowe says, can't hear you. Let me check my audio. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, dude. Looks like my audio is working great. Um, try turning up your volume. Oh, dude, look at that. My deals with Nate looks really hella silly. One second. Boom, there we go. I'm back. Ta-da. Okay. Let's share my screen again. Okay, so we're just taking a look at this property real quick. Um, looking to see if there's anything about the age of the roof AC water heater. Okay, no, there isn't. So let me give him a call. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Okay, I'm going to double dial. <laughs> been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. We'll put her in the no response category. Then we're going to track our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called. And we will move on to the next one. We're going to pull it up on Zillow first. We're going to look in for the age of the roof, AC water heater, roof replaced in 29, 2009. Septic, chimney flashing. Done. Okay, cool. So I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to give him a call.
Hi, you breathe Rose the Mop with Mutter Realty powered by ERA. Hi, this is Rose. Hey, Rose. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on Bryan Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was about to run my numbers on it. I just wanted to confirm my understanding of it. Um, so we got roof 2009. Um, what else here? Um, it's the real, it, you know, it's under contract, right? Oh, really? It's it's already under contract. Okay. You, is it yeah, we're under contract. Period? Uh, there was no inspections. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. But um, yeah, you can go ahead and show it and come in as a backup. Um, sure, yeah. It's, uh, it, there's a 72 a hour kickout clause. Okay. That's why, that's why it still shows active, but it should state wherever you're reading it that there's a 72 hour kickout clause. Yeah, so I'm just a buyer. I don't get to see the. Uh... The private remark. Oh. I do see that here in the in the public remarks, the seventy two hour kickoff. Yeah. Could you elaborate yeah. on that? I don't. I don't fully understand. Sure. So that. the buyer that's in place is um, is contingent upon the sale of their home, and the kickout clause means that if you come in with an offer and the seller and you agree on your offer, that buyer has seventy two hours to m remove that contingency and move forward and buy it, or remove themselves and you come in the first position. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I would like okay. to make a backup offer then. What? Well, sure. Um, do you, did you, are you in the area? I mean, are you working with an agent? No. Um, we buy a lot of property sight unseen. There's, there's so many photos here. It's pretty clear. Unless if there's like major issues, is there any like foundation cracks or mold or termite no. damage that I should be aware of? Not that we we know of, no. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, we're very comfortable uh, the buying it. It was tenant what? occupied at the time. It was a tenant occupied property, so the owners never lived in it. Okay. So, but you, there's no evidence of anything like that. Yeah, and it looks it looks pretty straightforward mm -hmm. in the photos. It doesn't look like there's any hidden stuff. Mm -hmm. You're very thorough. I, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, what email should I send my offer to? Uh, Rose, then Demont, my last name, D is in dog, E, M is in Mary, O, T, T is in Tom, at gmail.com. Okay. So Rose M. Demont, D E M. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no M. Okay. It's, it's just Rose Demont, D E M O T T, at Gmail. Gotcha. Okay. Rose Demont, D E M O T T, yeah. at gmail.com. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I'll Perfect. Uh, I'll email that over to you, and I'll send you a text afterwards once I've sent it. Um, do you okay. have anything else as well that I should take a look at? That is a fixer wrapper. Yes. At this time, I do not know. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. No worries. Well, we'll nope. start with this. Okay. Thank you, Rose. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna add those notes. Um, so. Vacant, terms of sale, current, plea, under contract. But has a 72-hour kickout clause. Yo, what's up, Jordan? Thanks for watching on YouTube, bro. I like it. I like it when you watch on YouTube. It helps me get my watch time up. Okay, and we're going to add that to underwriting. Boom. Awesome, and we're going to update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Do, 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 do. And on to the next. Here, I'm going to hit that refresh button. That way it looks nice and clean. Good morning, Carolyn. 
And Jordan says, yeah, I try to go to the tube when I see you're on to help you get your numbers up. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. If y'all are on Facebook, uh, please come over to YouTube because I need to get my watch time up on YouTube. All right. Next one. Let's pull it up on Zillow. Okay, four photos. Yeah, I do not like that there are only four photos. Um, roof is six years old. Pool is not operatable. Um, how long ago did? Okay, well, I'm going to give this one to Ernesto since he already owns the contact. Marcella says, like background music. Y'all want background music? I will put background music on. There you go. There's some background music. Dun, 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 dun. But a do do. Y'all vibing with that? Oh, oh, Marcella says listening to me is like the background music. Okay, thank you. Not like you actually want background music. Because I have the background music. Okay, but let's take a look at this. So, yep, looks like a fixer upper. <clears throat> um, roof replaced in 2019, AC 2022. Okay. And I will call this agent Fallon. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Fallon. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on 4th Ave. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, first of all, thanks for uh, being so descriptive. Some agents, they just, uh, they don't put enough in the description. I, uh, no problem. I wanted to just confirm before I run my numbers though. Is there like anything else that I should budget for or is that at all? No, pretty much. Um, like again, I put it in the description. Um, the roof is from 2018, so that's good to go. Um, the AC system was just replaced at the end of 2023. The main lateral line and plumbing was replaced, um, 2023 as well. Um, those both should be reflected um, on the property appraiser site by now. I'm not sure why they weren't showing up at first. I think it's because we had a tenant in there. She was um, a single mom. And when the mm -hmm. inspections needed to get done, I guess they just couldn't work around her schedule. So they did the inspections once um, she vacated. Okay. And um, the like I said, the back, the, the house used to have a garage. And the people that we had purchased it from had done the conversion um, into that mother-in-law suite. So the garage is now the studio with the bathroom in it and the kitchenette in it. And that's been completely um, renovated after the last tenant moved out. New LVP floors, new AC, um, new paint fixtures, all of that. So that's good to go. Um, and then the main bathroom in the front of the house, the two bedrooms and the one bathroom, that bathroom was also gutted um, down to the studs and redone um, probably about five months ago. So that one's fine. Um, other than that, we just think it's, it's going to need, um, oh, it is going to need, sorry, a new electrical panel. That was the one out of the four point um, inspection uh, pieces that someone's going to have to come in and do. That's why we're actually not going okay. conventional with anybody and we're just wholesaling it. Okay. Um, it's going to need a new box. It has some of the cloth wiring. We had had um, an electrician come in and give us a bit of around 8K for that. Um, so that's what it would cost for that piece. Um, and then it's really just going to, everything else is cosmetic. The only thing that that systems wise needs to be done is the electrical work. Everything else um, is what? Oh, and windows. Okay. If someone would be so inclined and wants to do windows, you know, we'd recommend windows. 
Um, everything else is um, cosmetic. You know, we recommend it has the original hardwood floors, so you can either refinish those or you know lay down something new. Um, and then the kitchen, you know, we'd recommend probably needs to just be scrapped and redone. Gotcha. Damn. Very, very thorough. And then paint, interior, interior, exterior paint, stuff like that. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll get to work on running my numbers. Um, what email would you like me to send my offer to? Um, you want to send it to Fallon, F-A-L-L-O-N, okay. at Garco, G-A-R-C-O, property, P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y, dot com. Fallon and we do Garco actually have another com. <clears throat> yeah, Fallon at GarcoProperty.com. Yeah, I was actually I'm actually working on a contract right now um, from another investor who wants to put it under contract. So um, I don't know how long it's going to take you to run your numbers, but if you can get it, if you are interested in putting in an offer and can get it back to me um, this morning, we'll be able to take a look at it and consider it before finalizing this other offer. Okay. Do you mind giving me like an hour or two? Yeah, you got it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fallon. And do you have anything else that I no should problem. take a look at? Um, oh, property wise. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing that we have available right now. We will have something coming up, um, at the end of the month as well, but that's the only thing that we've got right now. Okay. Awesome. Um, why don't I send you a text with my buying criteria, proof of funds, contact card, all that good stuff. And if you can add me to your buyers list, that would be greatly appreciated. Sure, no problem. All right. Thank you. Take care. Talk soon. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. Okay, right, so that's another MLS listing called agent conversation, agent added. And we are going to send this to underwriting. Boom. And our goal is just to completely load up the underwriting category. Make 20 offers today. What do y'all think of the music? Are you vibing with it? Let me know. Do you guys like the music? Give me a one in the chat if you like the music. Give me a two if you want me to turn it off. Give me a one if you like the music. Give me a two if you don't. Give me a one if you like the music. Give me a two if you do not. Okay, this property just looks like everything. Let me give him a call real quick. Awesome. I'll keep it going then. Y'all love the music. It's a kind of Mr. Boat. Please leave your message for nine. Please leave your message for nine zero. Dang, Joseph didn't answer. Okay, so let's update our KPIs. We put them in the no response category. Now we update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called. And on to the next one. Okay, let me give him a call. Steven. Hey, Steven. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Newton Ave. 
Hey, good morning, Nathan. How you doing? Good morning. I'm doing fantastic. Hey, um, the photos are kind of blurry on this one. And I just wanted to see, like, you think this is salvageable or teardown? I'm definitely leaning towards teardown on this one. But I wanted to hear your opinion. Well, it's either or. Um, it, well, I can tell you what what the neighborhood is doing. Um, if you're familiar with the area, you know they just built mm -hmm. the Innovation Park two blocks yep. um, behind behind that location. So 90% of the older homes that was purchased within, you know, the last two years, pretty much all of them have been torn down and gone up two to three levels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to conform to what is going on in the neighborhood, is definitely tear down 80 you in the back two three stories you know if you don't want to go that route and you just want to do a rehab you it's salvageable mm -hmm. so it's just on that street kind of i'm not really seeing that on that street i'm sorry i'm not really seeing a whole bunch of that on that street well, no, not on that street, not on that street. But if you go one street behind there, I mean, just literally one street behind, cut through the field, walk directly behind there, you have three or four brand new homes that were sold in the eight, you know, seven and eight hundreds. They were built about a year ago and then go block from there. So if you if you literally just go behind there, literally just do four blocks behind there you'll probably find about a dozen homes um, that, you know, that's been, you know, complete, you know, complete tear down and ground up. Mm. Not on that block. No, not on that street. Um, and that's, you know, that street right there is a brick red street, granite curves. The street behind us isn't. But um, that's where they, you know, started um, the tear downs. Most of those people on that street, I know most of them, and um, and and a lot of those people are still living in those homes. Okay, yeah, I'm just wandering yeah. around here on Google Maps. You're right, like kind of kind of on that corner is where the new builds start happening, or like I don't yeah, know, the yeah. new builds right, are right around the Innovation Park. Yeah, yeah. you know there, you know, um, even before the Innovation Park opened up, they probably had built about four homes right behind the Innovation Park. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, so yeah, I'll I'll run my numbers as a teardown. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go. You're right. Uh, what email? Should I mean, what, what are are you are you a, are you a wholesaler? I've wholesaled before. Does that make me a wholesaler? I mean, you know, we can. You know, I, I'm just trying to see what's your strategy. So. If you if it's a wholesale, this is probably not the deal for you. You know, if if you're an in buyer looking to, you know, build or something like that, I'm just trying to save time, man. I'll, yeah, of course, you know, of course. I you respect want to your time, you know. No, yeah. I, I would like to take this down for myself. I don't know if I'm going to do a fix and flip or a fix and hold. But also, you know, I like to keep my options open because I make a lot of offers and sometimes I end up having too many properties under contract and I don't want to lose my EMD. At the end of the day, I want to make sure it gets performed on whether it's me or somebody else. So I like to keep that clock in there just in case. Right, right, right. So now let's go back to the, the, the initial. So if, if your goal is to assign it, I won't be accepting any assignment. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, that's just the, are you, know, you the, the owner or I, are you? The, yeah, I'm the owner. I'm okay. The owner. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm glad I get to speak with the source of the information. Yeah. What, what's the story with this one? How did it get to that stage? It's no story, man. I live in D.C. I had completely gutted it out. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. This was before um, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And then I was going back and forth, you know, I had bought up probably, you know, $20,000 worth of materials, all brand new hurricane windows. Yep. And then I was doing projects over in Orlando, doing projects in Tallahassee, doing projects up here in D.C. But the one thing I knew was the location. 
I knew what was going on. I grew up in in, in South St. Pete, mm -hmm. you know, friends with the mayor. So I know in terms of, you know, land value and location, what that what that land in that location offers. Mm -hmm. So I was in no rush to do nothing. You know, no rush to do nothing. None. So there are no grand stories behind it. You know, no, what if you can't sell it, what you'll do. None of that. <laughs> it sounds like you, to this, you it know. sounds like you've been put through the ringer with wholesalers. Just the way I, that you're I talking. Mean, I've worked, you know, I've worked with some great you know, I've you know, I've wholesale some deals, you know, last month myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm not opposed to wholesalers. But I just don't like playing games when it's stuff for my own. So I know how to get down to the real people. Of course. Once you cut out that no assignment, you know, and, and start playing with their EMDs and go up mm -hmm. on the EMDs a little bit, you know, it, it kind of weeds out the garbage. Yep. I agree. I you agree. know, so that that's it, man. It's I just it's all about the location. That was it. Well, let me run my numbers on it. Let me see what it pans out to. Um, what email do you want me to send my offer to? Um, the letter A, the letter O, and the word kindness, K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S -S -S at Gmail. A -O -O -O, dude, that sounds so familiar. Is that like, I have this guy from a wholesale company. It's like AO or something like that. I don't know, man. That's yeah, my son. It, right? Yeah, nah, my son thought of that. Like, I don't know. He's sixteen now. He thought of that fourteen years ago. Good. I'm glad that I thought you guys. Email. <laughs> this wholesale yeah. company, they're like AO investments or something like that, and they send me uh, yeah, deals all the time. I'm like, come on. Oh uh, boy, yeah. You don't. Yeah, don't even block them, man. Block them. Uh, bro, I put them in the crappy yeah. wholesaler folder. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still want to see That's what crazy. they're locking up, but like, I just know that it's not even worth my time to underwrite it. Right, 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 right. Hey, do you, um, do you ever pick up any, uh, commercial buildings or anything? No, it's too much for me, but I'll take a look at it. I mean, okay. I might have a friend that'll take it. I got, um, an 89 unit oh. off market, um, it was originally built in 2008 as a comfort inn hotel. It was completely renovated in 2018, uh, right before the pandemic, and then into a senior care facility. And then in 2021, they did a complete renovation again, but then they went and built a brand new location. So um, I got I got one you know got one for for sale man. dude please send me the details on that i know i know just the person what was that please send me the details on that i know just the person i have a friend that's looking for a hundred doors so i think that i think that makes the cut on what to look for hey man it's yeah that, i'll definitely Where's make it? it just um this is my number man just shoot me your email and then um and then i can um I can send you everything. Here, I'm going to send you my contact card. Do you have an iPhone? No, I mean, I hate iPhones. I actually have one, but my son has it right now. So Okay, tell me if this, if this doesn't guy. work. I, I just sent you my contact card, but if for some reason your yeah, Android man. is not uh, intelligent enough to decipher the contact oh, card, let me know. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. I got you right here. Mary Harris. Okay, then. All right. Yeah, I have awesome. it right here. Lock Sweet. Here, man. I'm gonna lock you in the, the iPhone, the iPhone investor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome, bro. Well, I'm gonna get All right, well, I'll get that over to you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You go ahead. I said I'll get that over to you. I have a, a meeting at 11, but I'll get that over to you. Thanks. Yeah, just as much details on it as possible. Like I'm gonna need the T12, the rent roll, uh, the rent roll, the unit mix, uh, photos, as, as much as possible. So, so it's completely vacant. Oh, wow. It's not income producing at the moment at all. Okay. They just built a brand new building and moved all the old folks out, and they renovated in 2021. And the building is just wow, big. wow. Okay, yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll take a look at it, and then I'll let you know if I need anything else after I, I take my initial look. Okay, then. Awesome. Thank you, Steven. All right. Sounds good, man. Okay. All right, bro. All right, man. All right.
Cool. So we're going to put that in underwriting. I'm going to count that as another MLS listing called, another agent conversation, plus another agent added because he's going to continue to send us deals. <laughs> Okay, we'll pull up the next one on Zillow. Hello, this is Orpus Nieves. Thank you for calling. Sorry, I missed... Hello, this is Orpin. Okay, no answer. <clears throat> so we will put him in the no response category and my CRM will automatically reach out to him. And then we will track our KPIs. So we will count that as another agent converse, or sorry, agent all. And yeah, um, let me change my banner. Y'all should get my CRM. Let me change it to this advertisement. Text systems to 813-437-1709 to get your free AI-powered wholesaling CRM. Um, Matthew says, doesn't want to assign, can always double close, LOL. Yep, yep, I do not care if they don't want to assign. That's okay, I will just double close. Flying Club Gerald says, let's do some deals. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, where am I at? What am I up to? Um, next one we have here is Hector. Okay. Roof was replaced in 2005. Let me take that down. What else? Uh, 
All right, let me just call. Hi, you have reached the voicemail box of Hector Contreras with Weikert Realtors Exclusive Properties. Please. You've reached the voice mailbox of Hector Contreras with Weikert Realtors exclusive. Okay, no answer. So we will put him in the uh, no response category. Now we'll automatically send him a text. And guys, if you don't have my system, it's super cool. I build an entire AI wholesaling CRM and I give it away for free. So if you want it, text systems, S Y S T E M S. The 813-437-1709 and i will give it to you for free it's a pretty good deal i spent a lot of time on it and i just want to help people so i give it away um, next thing we do is we track our kpis and we move on to the next one okay and we'll pull it up on zillow Ooh, Jordan says, I just got my A2P approval. I'm preparing to release the bots. Dude, that is sick, bro. Hey, Jordan, um, let me give you my calendar uh, calendar link. Put something on my calendar. I want to help you out. I want to get you set up. Uh, I'm going to text you my calendar link. Jordan. Boom, there you go, bro. I just texted you my calendar link. Pop something on my calendar, senor. I will help you get set up. And dude, I came out with some updates for it. Oh my God. Dude, the updates are incredible, bro. It makes it like hands off. Like it makes it like, automatically sort and filter um, based on the responses, like automatically stop the bot if they don't want to work together, or if they do want to work together, stop the bot and then add them to the follow-up campaign. It's just super fantastic. Okay, I'm not vibing with this music. This music is a little bit too fast. We're gonna try this one, night driving. We're gonna put it a little bit lower as well. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna call Melissa. Hi, Melissa, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about property address. Thank you for calling Melissa from Showcase Property
Hello, thank you for calling Melissa from Showcase Property Management. Hey. No answer. So what we will do is we will put her in the no response category and that will automatically send her a text. Boom. Okay, let's check out the next one. Brian Strain. We'll pull it up on Zillow. Built in 2004, so I'm safe to assume everything is original. Okay, cool. Let me give him a call. Hello. Hey, Brian. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Woodland Lane. Okay. Hey, so I just wanted to Talk confirm. To um, before I run my numbers, I wanted to confirm something. I'm assuming everything's original, right? Roof, HVAC, water heater, all that stuff. Yep. Okay. Cool. Are there any major yep. issues with this that I should budget for? I don't know. I'm not an inspector. I don't know. You'd have to have it inspected. Do you have a seller's disclosure? Yes, I do. Okay. Was there anything on the seller's disclosure of concern? I don't think so. No, I can send it to you if you like. You just text me your email address and I'll email it to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. Um, and what, what email do you want me to send my offer to? I'm not a realtor, by the way. I'm just looking at it. Well, you haven't seen the property. So unless you look at the property, then I'm not, the seller's not accepting any offers unless it's viewed. So you need to look at it first. Yeah, no problem. I can I can come down and take a look at it. Let's let's make sure that we're within the same range. Um, and then once we're within the same range, the house then... is listed for three thirty four nine, and that's what they want. So if anything less than that, then they're not going to they're not accepting anything less than that. I'm I'm sorry. I did I come off a little bit rude? I'm, I'm I don't know if you know that's why. No, you didn't come off rude. Okay. I'm just telling you that's that right now. That's what they have it listed for. That's what they want, and that's what they want to sell it for. So it's right there at that price. So unless you want to take it for that, because it's really, if you want to purchase it and put in a new roof and do all that stuff, then that's on you. That's not on them. So they're not taking anything less than that. Okay. And that, that, okay. Um, yep. Do you think I'm like, so if you want to schedule a showing, I'll be glad to schedule a showing for you to look at it and then you can run your numbers from there. Okay. So you're suggesting I just pass on this one. This one doesn't make sense. Well, that doesn't make sense for you, but yes, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, no worries. Okay. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day. Right, thanks. You too. All right. Bye. I was like, sorry, did I come off as rude? Is that why you're giving me that attitude? Okay, so we're gonna update our KPIs. I'm just abandoning that realtor because I'm not gonna waste my time. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Matthew says, can you put that number in the chat to text? I can, yeah. Copy. Boom. There you go, sir. Okay, so the next one that we're looking at here. <laughs> Dennis is like, I like that question. It sometimes gives them an attitude check. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I was like, I'm sorry, did I come off as rude? Like, pretty much saying like, dude, come on, like you're you're being a bit of a dick. Like, check yourself. Um, okay, yeah. So let's call this one here.
yo and if you're on facebook can you guys the people that are on facebook can you please come over to youtube um because i really need to get my watch hours up on youtube i'm trying to get my youtube properly monetized so we can generate ad revenue so that we can you know pay for like editing and whatnot uh, so if you come watch on youtube that would help a ton why is this taking a while to load let me refresh And for the people that are on Facebook, I'm gonna put the um, the YouTube link in the chat for you. Share, copy. Yeah, so if you're on Facebook, there you go. There's the YouTube link. Um, come check me out on YouTube. That would help a ton. All right. Let's call this agent. Brandy Murphy. Miss Brandy. Hey, good morning, Brandy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Townsend Street. Yes. Well, I'm interested in it. I uh, I wanted to confirm some details before I run my numbers. Do you have a moment? Sure. Okay. I didn't see anything here about the age of the roof, AC, water heater, or any of that. Do you have those details? Um, The roof is 11 years old. I believe the AC is 12. They didn't give an age of the hot water heater or details on the electrical panel, but it did pass a four point inspection for the owner to get insurance. Okay. Okay. And is this one currently uh, occupied or vacant? It's occupied. Owners or tenants? Um, the lease, it's a tenant. Okay. The lease, um, it's through February of next year, but there's a clause in it that allows for it to be terminated with 45 day notice after closing. Okay. I'm just writing this down. Okay. So the clause for it to be terminated 45 days after closing, does that mean that if we were to like, can we trigger that 45 day countdown now or do we have to wait till closing to trigger that 45 day countdown it specifically says closing gotcha okay all right um and then i just wanted to touch base on that on that price like what's what's the story with that price because it's, it's pretty high up there i'm not really seeing maybe i'm missing something um, no, it's kind of at where the seller, what the seller thought they could get for the property. Okay. Um, she is expecting offers, um, but what we've gotten has been closer to the 200 mark, which I believe is much lower than what it's worth. And it's, even though it needs work done on it, it's, it's still worth over the two, 220 mark. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't say I'd be much higher than everybody else. We all pretty much run our numbers the same. Um, but let me let me see what it comes out to. What email would you like me to send my offer to? It's Brandy with the Y. Okay. E D for Ed. Yep. And then D A M O N. So it's Brandy Ed Damon at AOL.com. Okay. Brandy Ed Damon. D A M O N at aol.com yes. yes okay cool yes, sir. i'll uh i'll put together an offer and i'll send you a text after i after i email it to you perfect thank you thank you brandy have a wonderful day you bye. too bye okay <clears throat> cool and now we will update our kpis that's another mls listing called another agent conversation 
Do 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 do. Cool. And we're gonna refresh this, make this all pretty. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Boom. Ooh, look who it is. It's standing. How you doing? Thank you for coming on. All right. So let's see what we're at. We have four in underwriting complete, seven in underwriting. <clears throat> let's call Karen. Let's pull it up on Zillow first. I think I'm seeing anything here about the roof. No, I'm not. Okay, let me call. Hi, you've reached Karen Myers with Century 21 Myers Realty. Please leave your name. Okay, we will double dial. You've reached Karen Myers with Century 21 Myers Realty. Okay. No answer. So we're going to put her in the no response category. Boom. Chaka laka laka boom. Chaka laka laka boom. No response. Update your KPIs. MLS listing called. And back to the dialing. David Morales is the next person to call. Let's pull it up on Zillow B4. Ring a ding ding. What's up, David? Y'all want to sell me some houses? Maybe. Okay, so it says, um, as is home ready, no seller disclosure, property is an assignment of contract, and advance notice preferred. Um, uh, so this one seems like an assignment of contract. I usually, usually assignments don't work out. I'm just gonna skip it um, because I'm gonna say abandon, assignment of contract 
because it's gonna get hella sticky and I got a lot of uh got a lot of leads to go after, so I'm gonna skip David more else. I'm gonna call Cynthia instead though. I know Cynthia's a cool agent. Anybody with a name like that, they gotta be cool. Yo, what's up, George? Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for joining me, brother. Hey, George, um, if you don't mind, may you watch on YouTube because I need to get my hours up on YouTube. I need to get my watch hours up. I'm trying to get monetized. That way we can bring in some revenue for editing and whatnot. Um, it would help a ton. I would be very, very grateful. Either way, I'm grateful for you watching. Okay, so we want to collect the information about the property by reading the description. So what we have there is we have AC 2022 water heater 2019, but I don't see anything about the roof. So I'm going to call and I'm going to ask them about the roof as well as I'm going to collect their email. That way I can easily send them my offer when it's ready. Hello, this is Cynthia Hobbard. Okay, no answer. <clears throat> Hello, this is Cynthia Hobber with the CNC team at William Raven. Well, Cynthia sent me to voicemail there, but that's okay. Now we are going to put her into the no response category. And what happens when you put them in the no response category? It automatically reaches out to them, encouraging them to give me a call or send me a text back. And that happens because we built it to happen that way. <clears throat> because we have a free AI wholesaling CRM snapshot that we give away. So if you guys want that snapshot, just text systems to 813-437-1709. That's S-Y-S-T-E-M-S -S systems. Text that keyword to 813-437-1709. We will give you a free AI-powered wholesaling CRM snapshot. It's super dope. <clears throat> but enough about that. Let's get back to dialing. So we need to track our KPIs. That would be considered one MLS listing call. And right now we're sitting at about a 45% uh, response rate, which is not too bad. Let's pull up the next one. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this. <clears throat> it's got a random mattress included. Wouldn't you love to sleep on that? Whoa, there's a hole in it. Interesting. I wonder how that got to be there. Okay, this property is clearly a little bit gross. So, anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Each unit individually metered for electric. Um, REO property. Oh, it's an REO. Well, we're going to skip it because it's an REO. So, we're going to put abandon. REO. Don't bring back REOs. <clears throat> And we will abandon it. Goodbye, Greg. And then we will open up the next one. Brandon Tucker. I'm really vibing with this music. I like it. It's enjoyable. It's stimulating. Okay, anything about the age of the roof? AC, water heater? Nope. All right, let's call and let's ask. Hi, Brenda. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about property address. 
Hi, this is Jose Marrero. I'm currently away from my desk. I thought I was calling Brenda Tucker, but Jose answered. That's kind of weird. Let me double dial. Hi, this is Jose Marrero. Okay, no answer. So we are going to put them in the no response category. And that's going to automatically send them a text. And then we're going to update our KPIs. Cool, just like that. And George says, any accepted offers last week? Two. Yeah, two offers accepted. One of them we canceled already. And then another one, we're still marketing right now. So... Pretty good. My goal for this week is to get a hundred offers out this week, which means I have to do 20 offers a day, which is a bit of a challenge. It pushes me outside of my comfort zone, but I think it's totally doable. <clears throat> okay, next call. Give this agent a call. Hey, Chris, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Gates app. Uh -huh. Hey, so I was about to run my numbers on it, but I realized I was missing some information. I wanted to know the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and if there's any major issues with the property. Uh, no major issues. The roof is old. Um, he does. The seller doesn't actually know the age of it, but it's, it's well over 20 years old. Yeah. Um, and as far as the, uh, the water heater, um, I know it's in working order. I uh, don't know, he doesn't know the age of it either. And um, and AC, they actually have just, um, what do you call those, uh, just window units. Okay. Do they have uh, the ducts in the property? <laughs> yeah, they have the ducts that come up to the floor. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, so they have those. Okay, and is this currently <clears throat> occupied or vacant? It's occupied. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm actually here this, yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of the seller now. It's been like almost two weeks since I've talked to him and he just, I've actually even went over there to, uh, make sure he's alive. Know, see if I can get in touch with, yeah, exactly. Well, cause he is having some medical problems and stuff, but, um, yeah, I'm just, it's so hard trying to get in touch with him. So um, I went over there, left him a note and everything. I've tried to call contact his family. It's no, no response yet. So. I don't know what's going on, but um, as soon as I know something, I can definitely give you a call back. And um, I just left him a message about ten minutes ago. Too. Damn, bro, so, that's that's yeah. Man. No, you're, you know, this and this is yeah. And I and I listed this home in October of 2022. So yeah, bro, I'm dealing with that. My goodness, yeah, that is weird. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep you in the loop and. Um, 
and let you know um, when I hear something, Roland. Okay, please do. Um, in the meantime, why don't I yeah. run my numbers? I'll send you an offer, and maybe then when you do get a hold of him, you got you got something something to present him. Okay. What email, Sounds good, man. What email should I send my offer to? Uh, Chris MD one zero eight five at gmail dot com. Chris M as in mother, D as in delta, 1085 at gmail.com? Correct. Awesome, cool. I'll get to work on it and I'll send you a text after I email it over. Sounds good. All right, thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Chris. Take care. It's another MLS listing called Agent Conversation. Call the next one. Reach Brandy from Synergy Home. Sorry, I'm not available to answer the phone right now. Please leave me a text message. Which okay, we will double dial. Always double dial. Reach Brandy from Synergy Home. Sorry, I'm not available to answer. Wait, no answer, so we will put her in the no response category. And we will update our KPIs. It's another MLS listing call. And then we will call the next one. Pull it up on Zillow. That's a shed. Interesting. A shed with a loft in it. It's pretty cool. All right. Let me give him a call. This 
is Adrian. Hey, Adrian. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Lincoln Ave. Hi, how are I'm you? I'm doing good. And you? I'm pretty peachy for a month. I love that analogy, peachy. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of old school. I don't hear a lot of people say it, so I got to keep it, keep it in. It makes me think of Princess Peach. Yes, I love that. You sound like a Princess Peach. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Hey, so I was about to run my numbers on this property. Um, I didn't see anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. I, I'm, I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see the private remarks. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, the roof is from 08, 2008. The air conditioner is brand new. Uh, just just was had its first maintenance last okay. week. Um, the hot water heater, he wasn't sure of the age. It looks fairly new. Um, but that's, I don't have a lot of info on that one. Okay. And are there any major issues with this property I should budget for? Um, the home itself needs a little TLC. So the, <clears throat> the homeowner and his wife started a lot of projects before the wife um, got really sick and was bedridden. Oh, oh no. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's too bad. Um, so, you know, there's like some of the walls need to be repainted. Nothing like major needs to be done. I mean, it is it is a project, but stuff that you can do while you're living in the home, if that makes sense. Of course, yeah. Um, I would be looking at this from the perspective of like a fix and flip or a fix and hold. So I probably wouldn't like yeah. it uh, while doing it. Is it currently vacant or is it still occupied? It's still occupied until May 1st. Is that by owner or tenants? By owner. Okay. Okay, so till May 1st, how long is that from now? That's about a month and a week or two. Okay, and they, they have like yeah. a plan on on their exit plan. I just don't want to, I want to make sure they're not displaced if I do buy this. Yeah, yeah. He already has a home that he is kind of slowly moving into, but he can't fully get in there until um, middle of April. So he's just trying to get a little bit of time so that way he can totally clear his stuff and um get moved in and not kind of be rushed okay and if is there any ways that like we can help them like do they need help with moving is it like they're just waiting to secure a place or is it that they're having trouble like moving their their possessions um he has the place um i don't know if he would need help with moving he's going to be leaving a lot of the furniture um, and a lot of the stuff in the home he'll be leaving just because he's downsizing so much. Mm -hmm. I think more so he's just kind of mentally preparing himself for a move. He's lived in that home for 30 years. Wow. Um, so, yeah, yeah. And, you know, he lost his wife in the home. So it's just kind of a big milestone for him. And he's just kind of moving slower. Um, but, you know, we're working with it. Okay. Okay. Well, if there's anything that we can do, um, any terms that we can put in to help them out, um, just let me know because the easier we can make it on him, the better. It doesn't cost us really anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would even entertain the idea of like, even if we close early and we're able to do like a post occupancy of some way, shape or form, that, that would maybe entertaining. Okay. Let me uh, take a note down of that. You know, but that's only if we have an early close. You know, we're already at the end of March. So May 1st, they'll be here before we know it. Mm -hmm. Or potentially even like releasing a portion of the um, of the money to help them with the expenses moving over. Sounds like could be helpful. Sure. Okay. Now, you're calling to fix and flip it yourself or do you work with a company? For myself. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Let me, uh, let me run my numbers on it. Let me see what I come out to. What email should I send my offer to? Yeah. So it's going to be, um, my first and last name. So let me spell it because I'm German <laughs> and it's ridiculous. It's, um, it's A D R I E N as in Nancy and as in Nancy E. And then last name is Van V like Victor A N like Nancy. D like dog, E, N like Nancy, D like boy, 
O-R-R-E at gmail.com. Okay. So we have Adrienne, which is A-D-R-E-N-N-E, uh, Van, V-A-N, Debor, D-E-B-O-R-R-E. Um, so it's A-D-R-I-E. Okay. N N E and then Van Den. So V A N D E N B O R R at Gmail. Yep. Okay, cool. I think I got that right, but if you don't mind, could you text it to me just in case? <laughs> yep, I totally okay, can. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Give me a call if you have any other questions, but I'll look for the email. Sounds good. We'll do. I'll I'll send you a text afterwards once I send it as well. Awesome. Right. Take care, Princess Thank Peach. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay, we'll put that in underwriting. And we will update our KPIs. It's another MLS listing called, another agent conversation. Boom. Boom. All right, we'll give that a refresh. Well, that's refreshing. I'm going to go grab myself some cherry tomatoes. I'll be right back. Mm. Okay, let's assign some more of these to myself. Also, I want to see what my VAs are up to. I'm going to take a look at their screens. Okay. All right, let's assign these to me. <clears throat>
these charity medals <clears throat> are really good. Um, Gerald says, where are your leads coming from? My leads are coming from the MLS. So these are visually distressed properties that were on the MLS. And I have my virtual assistant um, scrape them for me. So like, let me show you something. Check this out. These are all my virtual assistants. So this is Benjamin's screen. I wonder what Benjamin's up to. Let me say, at Ben, what you up to? And then we got Alvin. Alvin's currently underwriting properties. And then there's me. So yeah, that's where, that's kind of what we got going on. I wonder what Ben's up to, because he's not doing anything. Either way, I gotta get back to work. This is a really good question by Chris. Chris says, where do you see the future of wholesaling with the states cracking down? I think it's gonna remove all the clowns. <clears throat> I think it's gonna create a barrier to entry. And the people that are actually good and professional are gonna get through that barrier, no problem. But the jokesters and the clowns and the people that are you know, not here to stay aren't gonna get through that barrier. So I think it's good that they're cracking down because it gets rid of a lot of uh, crappy wholesalers. Um, Gerald says, are they scrubbing according to Jamil's appraisal rules or do you use your own criteria? So my underwriter underwrites according to Jamil's appraisal rules, but also keep in mind, like Jamil's appraisal rules are a one size fits all. So in different markets, there's different things. So yeah, it's a really good rule of thumb to start with. It's a really good place to start, but like you need to be speaking with your buyers, right? And like understanding your market specifically because Arizona is different from Florida, right? Like big differences, you know, Arizona, it's a bitch and a half for them to dig a basement in Florida. Like, you know, you want to like, make sure that it's like wood or frame, uh, blocker, blocker, blocker wood, right? Like big differences in some markets, you know, they count basement square footages in some markets they don't, um, a mm -hmm. lot of, a lot of differences per market. So. Jordan said, at what point did you decide you needed VAs? When I wanted to scale and I'm like, why am I spending so much time scraping the MLS for visually distressed properties when someone else can do it for me? I'm going to kick Ben. I'm going to see when he comes back. Sorry, not kick, disconnect. I send Ben a message.
I disconnected you because I saw you were doing anything. Please let me know when you get back. Yeah, I'm not going to tolerate that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, let me get back to work. Okay, let's pull it up on Zillow first. Hi, it's Randy. Hey, Randy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Albermary uh, Parkway. Yes. Hey, so I was a little bit confused about the sinkhole issue. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. It uh, had a sinkhole claim back in 2010, and uh, someone got an insurance payout and did not uh, do the repairs. Okay. What's the extent of the damage? Uh, the floors are uneven, and the – no, that's pretty much it. It's got uneven floors. Okay. Have you done sinkholes before? No, but we would we would have to partner up <clears throat> with a friend of ours. Yeah. Are you uh, looking for to buy it for yourself? Or are you looking for investment, or what is your story? Yeah, fix and flip or fix and hold. Not quite sure what the exit on this one would be. Um. Yeah, that those floors are kind of. How bad are they? Hey, can I call you right back? What's your first name? My name is Nathan. Nathan, I'll call you right, right. back. I've been waiting on this call. No Thank you. Okay, let's call the next one instead. Oops. I accidentally closed my screen share. Let me open it back up. Okay, floors are sloping. Okay, let me pull the next one up on Zillow. So it has a newer AC and water heater. Hey, Elizabeth. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Spring Hill Drive. Okay. So I was about to run my numbers, but I, I realized I was missing a little bit of info. Um, I wanted to see, what's the age of the roof? Uh, the roof is um, that one. Sorry, I don't have the total there in front of me. It is 07 or 09, whatever the county says. Okay. It does need to be replaced. 
Yeah, it kind of looked like it. it looked like there was like a patch out of it that was redone. Um, so that patch is actually the result of, um, unfortunately, a car veered off of Spring Hill Drive what? and ran into the front of that home. Yeah, <laughs> ran into the front of that home a couple of years ago. So like that front entire section has been replaced. Oh my goodness. The front door, that section of the roof that you can see. Yeah, yeah, the owner at the time actually suffered some injuries oh, no. from that. Oh, yeah, but the house was redone obviously so yeah that section that you see is a newer portion of roof <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that's one of the hard things on living on a major road even yeah. you don't even really have to be that major but like any any kind of like two three lane roads or like through roads <laughs> it happens more than i would imagine mm -hmm. around here honestly uh, friend of mine lost her truck because somebody well yeah I'd better i lose that the truck that, rather than like a dog or a kid oh exactly oh my gosh exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah but yeah pushed her you know brand new truck into her garage basically wow but yeah happens more more often than we know i think mm -hmm. wow so yeah that that explains the patch that you see okay <laughs> Okay. Um, and what email should I send my what offer to? I'm what sorry? email should I send my offer to? Uh, first initial E, last name Limestall at Gmail. Yeah. So E Limestall, Limestall at Gmail. Limestall at gmail.com. Cool. Awesome. I'll fire that over to you in a little bit. Um, I'll even send you a text after I send it over. Okay, perfect. I am um, actually headed to get some pictures done on a new listing. Mm -hmm. um, if you're an investor, you may be interested in that please. as well. Yeah, please. Um, Here, let me let me send you my contact yeah. card. Um, anything you come across, I'll take sure. a look at and I'll give you feedback on. Sure. This one's actually a 3-1 with a carport, block home on a cul-de-sac. Also needs a new roof, um, but we're asking $199.99 on that one. And that will be listed on Wednesday. Can I make you an offer before it goes live? Sure. Awesome. Sweet. Let's do it. All right. Let me, uh, there's my contact card and I will send you my buying criteria as well. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Elizabeth. Take care. Talk soon. Yes. You too. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Okay, right, cool. And let's update our KPIs. So that's another MLS listing called, another agent conversation, another agent added. Let's refresh this so that we get to see nice clean data. All right, cool. All right, so we have seven in underwriting, seven in underwriting complete. Hey, let me call this agent.
Hi, Jasmine. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on 37th. Uh-huh. Hey, so I was about to run my numbers, but I realized I was missing some uh, critical info. I wanted to get the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and I wanted to know if there's any major issues with the property I should budget for. Um, the roof's original, the water heater, it's pretty much a full rehab, so you're wow. going to have to change everything. Original roof? I'm not sure. It leaks. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> wow. That that would be like a um, 75-year-old roof. Holy crap. Well, I don't think so, but it leaks, so you're going to have to make it new roof. Okay. I'm um, sorry. And you said the AC is... Yes, also it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Any major issues with it? Um, not I mean as far as the AC oh, sorry. it doesn't work. So you're gonna need a whole new as far as the house, yeah. it's a full rehab. I don't think there's any issues with the house itself, like the foundation or anything like that. Okay. But yeah, it's just a full rehab where you're gonna have to change the roof, you know, everything cosmetic. I'm not sure how old the plumbing is um, or the electrical. Okay. And is it currently occupied or vacant or what's the story? It is. The seller's working on getting the tenant out. Um, could you elaborate on that? He's working on getting them out. So there's no there's no lease. So technically here in Florida, you got to give him a 15-day notice to move out. So he's working on getting them relocated. Okay. So is he already uh, giving so them whoever, the eviction? Whoever purchases it. Whoever purchases it is going to be purchasing it with an empty, uh, as an empty house. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's all the info I need. The, I will admit though, the price is pretty darn high. Um, is there something that I'm missing, or like, it, why why is he going for that? Price? That's the price. That's the price the seller wanted. Hmm. Okay. He's a. a He's an investor, so he owns several houses and he sells them all the time. So that's the price he wanted to put on it. Okay. Let me run my numbers. Let me see what I come to. I'm definitely not going to be at his asking price, but let me see what it comes out to. What email do you want me to send okay. it to? Um, Jasmine, your realtor at gmail.com. Jasmine, your... Jasmine, J-S-M-I-N-E, your realtor at gmail.com. Gmail. Dot com. Cool. Awesome. I'll uh, get to work on it and I'll send you a text afterwards letting you know that I've sent it. All Thanks, right, Jasmine. Thank Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, cool. I'm going to put it in underwriting. And then Alvin wants to ask me a question. So, yo, what's up, Alvin?
Okay, I'm back. I was just speaking with my underwriter because I came across a property and he's like, dude, you put here in the notes that they're getting offers around 200,000, but our buy price is coming out to like 240. He's like, dude, this doesn't seem right. Can you take a look at it? I took a look at it and I'm like, um, I don't know for sure. Just use your best judgment and then send it to me after like you're fully done with it. And then I'll take a, a more thorough look at it. Okay. So, all right, back to work. Into underwriting. Let me hit that refresh button. Okay. Somebody just told me that my AI bot started talking to him in Latin. Interesting. Okay, who's the next person? Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. Nope. <clears throat> Hello, this is Mike. Hey, Mike, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Cheston Street. Yeah. So I was about to run my numbers on it, but I, I don't have the private remarks. So I wanted to confirm the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and if there's any major issues I should budget for. Um, yeah, I can send you... So the house was inherited. Okay. And the, you know, the lady who now owns it doesn't really know much about the house. But we did have someone did have an inspection done, so we do have a copy of that report that I can email to you, so that you can kind of see, you know, whatever the inspector had to say. Yeah, please. So I can I can send you that, um, which I think should help. I think the I think he had mentioned that the roof was you know starting to show signs of wear, so it's there's no leaks in it or anything. But I think he was saying that it's you know probably approaching you know, needing replaced at some point. Um, it looks to me like the hot water tank is pretty new. Um, not real sure on the HVAC. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can send you the, the report. It'll have all the, all the things in it so you can see what, uh, what it needs. Yeah, please. I, uh, I just texted you my email address. Did you get it? Okay. Um, let me see. Nathan at Rising Star Investment. Yep, I got it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'll keep an eye out okay. for that. And um, what email am I sending my offer to you afterwards? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll respond back to your uh, text once I send it, and I'll include it in there. Awesome. You. Thanks, Mike. You got it. No problem at all. Thanks my for the My pleasure. Call. Take care. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to put this in the waiting on info category. We'll send seller's disclosure. And then we're gonna add it to the waiting for info. And we are gonna update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. And I'm kind of hungry. Like, I think I would like to grab myself something for lunch. Let me go check what's in my fridge. One second, I'll be right back.
Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes counting down. Okay. I'm going to make pierogies for lunch. So I just put my water on. All right. Let's call the next one. Wait a minute. I just called this one. Let me hit the refresh button. Also, I'm curious to see how many messages I have. <clears throat> Damn. I have 86 messages. Mondays are always pretty big for outgoing messages. is available from APN. Thank you. Let me double dial. The number you dialed is available from APN. Thank you. What the heck? I'm going to put them in the no response category. <clears throat> and track our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called. And on to the next. Okay, this one's too nice, so I'm going to let Ben know. So I'm going to let my VA know. I'm going to say, uh, Ben, this one is too nice, especially in the Jax 09 zip code okay cool yo what's up anthony Okay, cool. So there we go. Um, so I'm gonna put abandon. Oh wait a minute, you got y'all can't see my screen. So abandon 
too nice in butt hole of jacks. And we are going to abandon it. And hold on one second. I have to go put my pierogies on. Okay. <sighs> Excellent. Let's pull it up on Zillow first. Let's call. Please leave your message for nine zero four eight. We will double dial. <clears throat> Please leave your message for nine zero. No answer, which means we will put him in the no response category. And we will update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called. And we will move on to the next one. So the next one is him again. So I'm going to just call him later in the day. Um, then we'll skip over that one for now. Uh oh, something broke. Refresh. Okay, cool. So we got some important information here. Um, new AC 2021, new drain field 2019, septic tank, uh, new electrical panel. <clears throat> Please leave your message for 727. Please leave your message for seven. Okay, no answer. So we'll put them in the no response category, which will automatically send them a text. Okay. 
because we built our system to do it that way. Uh, and if you don't have our system, you should get our system. Text SYSTEMS to 813-437-1709 and we will literally give it to you for free. It's a pretty damn good deal. It's like so good that it, it's hard to turn down. Okay, my timer is going off, so I have to go check on my pierogies. It's a good thing I checked on my pierogies. They're starting to stick to the bottom of the pot, which is not good. Cool. Check my email real quick. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. We're going to give them a call. <clears throat> Sellers Express, can I help you? Hi, sorry, I was, is this Annie? It okay, is. Annie, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Pine Grove. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm interested in it. I'm a buyer. I'm not an agent. I just wanted to confirm okay. the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and then I'll put together an offer for you. Okay. Um, the, the AC um, is none. There is none. Okay. Um, the um, uh, the um, uh, roof is 2014. Okay. And uh, the owners have owned it. It was left to them 10 years ago by an uncle. And they've kept it up and um, that kind of thing. They come down from Maryland. And, and they also have a property here in Gulfport. Um, but as far as the water heater, I have no idea on the edge of the water heater. Uh, the owner is a, a master electrician up in Maryland, elderly guy. So he's gone through it and made sure that the electric is all good. Um, it's really cute inside. Um, and... Um, it's a good little, it'd be a good little renter, I would think. Now, it sits on two lots. The house before it on the left is a split lot, and you can see the, how it's a narrow. It's narrow, but it is two lots. So if you wanted to knock it down and rebuild it or something like that in the future, you could always do when that. When you say it sits on two lots, is that mm -hmm. owned by the same owner or like is it crop? Yes. Okay. It sits right in the middle of it, right in the middle of the two lots. Okay, and I'm assuming that those two lots come with the property. They're not going to try to, like, keep one of them? Oh, no. No, no, they can't. Okay, okay. It's The house sits right in the middle. <laughs> You'd yeah. be surprised when people try to pull off. I bet they do, <laughs> and you've run into oh, it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, like, such a mess um, sometimes, especially with direct to seller. This is why I prefer working with um, agents. No, I see. But the, the sellers, um, now, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, she said with a full price offer, she'd put in, the, you know, the mini splits. But she's real tough on this one. She was a realtor um, years ago up in Maryland. She, she uh, I told her, I gave her several offers already, okay. and she wasn't interested. She said, I, I, I know that somebody could knock that down and build two houses. So if you're, you know, if that's not where you want to be, don't, don't bother. I mean, she wants, you know, you can make any offer you want, but I'm just telling you, she's, she wants as high a price as she can get next to her sales price. So Interesting. Well, we'll, we'll see how much we can come up to. I can't promise you it's okay. really close to that sales price. It probably isn't. It's probably going to be similar to what everybody else is offering, but it doesn't hurt to make right. an offer. That's I won't okay. be offended if I get a no. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And it's um, um, we're doing the highest and best by the twentieth. So that's coming up. I'll send days. you my offer today. What email should I send it to? Sellers Express. It's S E L L E R S Express E X P R E S S Realty at Gmail. Sellers Express Realty at Gmail dot com. Correct. Awesome. Well, thank you, Annie. I will I will write that up and then I will send you a text afterwards to let you know. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Take care. <laughs> okay. So I have to go check on my pierogies again. One second. They should be done this time. Well, today for lunch, we have pierogies. Because I'm like, dude, I'm spending a lot of money on burritos. And the burritos, I don't know. I feel like I should have variety. So decided that today I would have pierogies. So you can either hang out with me while I eat pierogies and answer your questions. Or you can take off and come back later. So you decide. But... I'm going to eat my pierogies because I got to eat. I'm human. Hmm. I was thinking it wouldn't be that hard to social engineer unauthorized access into a secured building. All you would have to do is print yourself a, a like 
a pass. Like, let's say they have lanyards, right? Print yourself your own landlord lanyard, make it look similar um, to the company lanyard, and then go into the smokers pit and just play the natural human instinct to want to hold the door for your peers. Um, and just like when people go to walk back in, you know, you just go in with them at, when they hold the door and like, it's, it wouldn't be that hard to social engineer it. For the new people that just came in, y'all are probably thinking, what is this, a pierogi eating show? Yes. Yes, it is. Only for about 30 minutes around lunch. Not even. It's like 10 minutes and I'm done my lunch. Like less than 10 minutes. But I got to eat and I'm not going to stop the live stream just because I have to eat.
back to work. Um, George says, have you done any innovation deals? If so, were they a realtor or direct to seller? I have not done any innovation deals. I'm gonna hit that refresh button. <clears throat> Take a look at my new data. Okay, now we have eight in underwriting complete, eight in underwriting. <laughs> Sellers express realty at gmail.com. Oh, I feel like I just called this one. Oh yeah, that's the same agent, just a different listing of theirs. Okay, I guess I'll come to the next listing afterwards. Brittany Cruz. What is this, bro? This is way too nice. Dude. So I'm going to abandon this one way too nice. Hey, we will double dial.
You've reached the cell phone voicemail for Craig Ritchie. I'm sorry. No answer. So we'll put him in the no response category. And we will track our KPIs. That is another MLS listing called. And we will move on to the next one. Okay, anything about the age of the roof, AC water heater? Mike Lombardi, team. This is Kara. Hey, oh, sorry. Wait a minute. This this is not Mike. No, no I work with Mike. What did you do with him? You tie him up and put him in the trunk? <laughs> not quite. No, but can I help you? Um, yeah. So I was calling about the property on 29th Street. I'm getting ready to run my numbers on it. I just I didn't see anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. I wanted to check in on that. Okay. Um, water heater, I don't know. The age of the roof should be on LEPA. Um, what was the other? The water heater, the roof, and what else? I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, AC. Um, I can have Mike call you back on that. What, who's My name is Nathan. Okay. Are you an agent, no. Nathan? Okay. Uh, one second. Let me run back to and it was the Southwest 29th. Yeah, 247 Southwest 29th. You don't you don't have it on file? Uh, well, I'm not at the office at the moment. Um, okay. So I'm sure he has it. But the water heater is... Was this his cell phone number that I called or the office number? That's the office number, but it, it forwards over okay. to me. Do you want me... So if you text him on this number, um, it'll go directly to him. Okay, I'll just text them because, like, honestly, if somebody calls back with scrambled digits, I'm not even going to answer. So. Okay, um, go ahead and text this number to Nathan. Okay, thank you. All right, take me. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, just like it puts too much um, cogs in the wheels when somebody texts back on a random number or calls back on a random number. It's just kind of a waste of time. Hey, Rich. My name is Nathan. Hello? I'm calling about the property that you have listed on 6th Street. Um, street. Uh, what's the five? 6th Street. Uh, 2615. Yeah. Oh, 26. Hey, so yeah, just yeah. wanted to confirm a couple of details. I was about to run my numbers, um, but I don't see anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. If there's any major issues with it, do you have that info? Um, I don't, you know, I mean, this property is, I know it's a relatively new, but I don't have all, any of that information. There's no seller's disclosure. No, this is just as it's okay. I'm, 
it's kind of looking like the roof is going to need to be replaced. Is is that a correct assumption? Uh, I, I, I don't know. If there's no seller disclosure, I'm not sure. Okay. I'll just assume everything then. Um, <clears throat> hey, so what's uh what's the story with the price as well because it's like super duper high i don't know if this one's worth me taking a shot on or where are they at on that uh you know i mean if, if you're looking to buy flip i mean they're looking to sell it kind of more retail hmm. i don't would this pass a four point though it doesn't look like it i, I believe it probably would hmm. interesting do you got okay. any offers that you're entertaining then we we're working with an offer right now, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, let me see what my numbers. What okay. email okay. should I send my offer to? All right, thanks. Sorry, what's that? I said no. I said all right. That's what. Good. What email should I send my offer to? Uh, the one I'm, I'm not an working. agent. Yeah. So it's Richard at rcarrylaw.com. Sorry, Richard at at rcarrylaw.com. How do you how do you spell the last part? The R carry. R C A R E Y L A W dot com. Okay, cool, awesome. Thank you, Richard. I'll send that to you right now, and then I will text you afterwards. All right, take care. Richard was a little bit um unenthusiastic okay so I assume everything original We'll track our KPIs. It's another MLS listing called Agent Conversation. Okay, we have eight in underwriting complete, nine in underwriting. Four. Okay. I think we should start hurling out offers. I think it's about that time. Okay. So we're just going to go down the list. Um, this one here is going to be for abandon. I'm going to say, hey, contact first name, we are going to, I am going to pass on property address. Not enough comps. Thanks. Okay, so I respectfully pass on that one because there's a lack of comps. So then we're going to put it in abandon. Ooh, good morning, Nate. Nate says, morning, Nathan. This is great. Thank you. What do you think of the music in the background? Do you like that? Okay. 
So let's go down the list. So we just did crystal. Let me update. I want to refresh, make sure everything is nice, fresh data. Yo, Anthony, are you still watching? I have something cool I want to tell you. Anthony, give me a one if you're still watching. Okay, so am I going to let this agent know? Yeah, I am. I'm going to say, hey, Susan, we, I, am going to pass on property address. There are few good cops. Thank you. Okay, abandon. Okay. All right. Next one. Rose Dimont. Let's check it out. Yay. We got to make an offer on this one. Okay. I'm going to turn the volume up of the music because we're not on the phone anymore. And we're going to change it to lo fi or maybe something else. Actually, we're going to change it to. Night driving or daydreaming? Let's see. What is daydreaming? Boom. 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 Gotta make some offers. Use the offer template. Make your life easy. Get their email on the first call. Yeah. Like to make offers. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody's gotta like post that to the story as I'm as I'm pinging to the beat. Oh that that that'd be hilarious. Um okay so let's see here. So my wholesale price is 180. I'm gonna make some offers. Wholesale price 180. Pop that in the template. Make your life easy. Drop it 10k so we can make money. 2000 EMD, hope they get free with me. <clears throat> mm. Yes, yes, there is a kickback clause. Kickback clause means they can take my offer if the buyer doesn't perform. I hope they don't perform so I can make money. Offer for property address. Boom. Always add a POF. Otherwise, agents will be deaf to your offers. You look like a clown if you don't have a POF. It costs $12. It's not that expensive. Just go get a P O F. If you want a P O F, put it in the chat. Da, da, da. Eighth contact, first name. Bro, what the fuck? Don't type that out, Nathan. You're supposed to actually put the first name. Um, hey, Rose. It's Nathan Harris. I just emailed you my offer for for property address. Did you receive it? <clears throat> Do 
then we will put her in the offer submitted category now. That way it follows up with her tomorrow. That's a written offer made. Track it on your KPIs. Yeah. Yes. KPIs. They're important. How you know if you're doing your work. Doing your work? How do we know? We don't. Unless you track your KPIs. So track them. KPIs stand for Key Performance Indicator. You need to know what's the most important actions you're doing in your business. And if you don't, then you're in the dark. How accurate can you be in the dark? So track your KPIs every day, every way. We are coming out with a KPI tracking spreadsheet. But we said that two weeks ago. And we're two weeks late. Because my business partner is convinced that he needs to get a haircut before he records the video. I said, dude, nobody cares. He said, dude, they can wait. And I said, okay. Because he built the KPI spreadsheet. And just gotta accept it. So y'all can wait. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dude. This music, I am vibing with it. It is dope. E-O-F. <clears throat> Send. A contact first name. It's Nathan Harris I just emailed you my offer for property address Did you receive it? What? Phone number cannot receive SMS. It's a landline? Bruh. Why do you have a landline? Whatever. I technically emailed it, so it counts. But who the hell uses a landline anymore? I feel like those are around... During the dinosaurs. Thanks, my, my dude. Be a dinosaur if you're using a landline. Like, what even is a fax machine? Okay. Offer template. And we're just banging out offers, one after the other. We've already submitted two written offers. It's super easy. Just use your offer template, populate the information, send them an email with your offer. <laughs> For Don says, did you just call me a dinosaur? I did. Hold on, how do you do the T-Rex thing? You go like this? Okay, stop Nathan. Uh, I'm being a fool on the live. Nobody's gonna take you seriously. And it, okay, why am I talking shit? I can be whatever the fuck I want. Okay, EMD is 2000. This is why people love me, because Nathan is just Nathan. They don't like it. They're just, they can just choose to not watch me. Looks like we lost four people already. <laughs> Offer template. You should see me off the camera. Offer for property address.
que é a... Verdon says, my type of energy. Thank you. Did you hear me freestyling to the StreamYard beats? <clears throat> a contact first name. Thank you and offer for property address. Did you receive? Yeah. Okay, boom. That's another offer made. And now we get to check the box again. Three offers made. Easy. Sometimes I forget to deduct my wholesale fee. Whoops, like that last one. I forgot to deduct my wholesale fee. So that's the problem I'll deal with later. Perdon says, yes, I heard the freestyle. I'm silly already, so you have me straight tripping. Thank you, Verdon. I enjoy your presence. Okay. But it's a little bit distracting trying to focus on freestyling and also submitting offers at the same time. But StreamYard, give me a B. I think I can do it again. Let's wait till it picks up. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta put the EMD with your offers to the agents. They don't like ten dollars EMD. It makes them think you're a goofy goober. He he. Put a POF with your offer so you don't look like a wholesaler. Offer for property address six one five Newton. Yes. Banging out offers one by one. We're at three offers now. And I attach my POF. Because I like to make money. Money is nice. Boom. Sent an offer. Always double dial. That means ring them twice. I go live every day, so I have an alibi. Boom, boom, boom. Want you in my room. This is a... Okay. Um, hey, Steven. Hey Steven, I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Question mark. Boom. That's an offer submitted. Now we're at four. But I'd like to submit more. Damn. I need to call more leads. More leads equal more beans. I count beans. Analyze the property only to find it's not for me. Damn. What's up, Brenda? Welcome to the live stream. <clears throat> Nathan is just uh, submitting offers and bumping it with the StreamYard teams. Matter of fact, Nathan was uh, just rapping and calling people that are familiar with what fax machines are dinosaurs.
Oh, there goes two people. Oh, I'm kidding. It's it's maintaining about the same amount of people on the live stream. But it's a pleasure to have you guys here with me. It's actually a really, really enjoyable experience to be able to submit offers on the live because I get to hang out with you guys. Y'all are really awesome, really cool. And I like it when you guys make comments because it shows me that you're there, that you're listening. Who doesn't like being listened to? <clears throat> and what's really great about it is I get to help. I get to help at the same time by showing a live example of how to do this business. You know, it's a lot of people that they teach, they're like, do this, do that. But I never really show you them actually doing it. And that's what we're doing here. That's the goal is we want to show you live, it's like a live action real estate show. So here I am submitting an offer, offer for property address. Boom. Always attach your proof of funds. Otherwise you're going to look like a, a fool, a jokester. They're going to be like, yo, Come on, you broke, where's your money? That's okay, you can have no money but still have a proof of funds. As long as you have $12, then you can get a proof of funds. <laughs> okay, so we submitted an offer. Now we're gonna text the agent, we're gonna say, hey, Jessica, it's Nathan Harris. I just sent you my offer for property address, period. Did you receive it? Boom. Fantastic. And that's another offer. How about Brandy? We have an offer for Brandy. Let me check the deep cards. Yes, we do. We'll utilize our trusty dusty offer template. Boom. Pop the address in. Well, put the purchase price in. Make sure we uh, lower it 10K so we can make money for Mexico. Did you know that we're going to Mexico on May 1st? We'll go live in Mexico for 30 days. And that I'm going to go to Guatemala for 30 days. And then I'm going to pick another country after that and go there for 30 days. And I'm going to travel the world as a business expense. And I'm going to create a bunch of marketing. And it's really kind of, um, well, it's not really scary, but it definitely is the unknown. But I'm one to face the unknown. So I'm going to be creating content throughout the entire journey. That way I can justify it as a marketing expense. It's gonna be like lifestyle videos, like live streaming on the beach while making offers. Maybe going jet ski and saying, send me your deals on a jet ski. Maybe doing some other kind of crazy shit and asking people to send deals. Anyways, gotta make sure I document it all. Otherwise the IRS is gonna be like, yo, buddy, you telling me you went traveling for six months and called it a marketing expense? And I'm gonna have to be like, yeah, buddy, Look, on this day, I recorded this. And on that day, I recorded that. And on that day, I recorded that. And I have to justify the marketing expense. So I have to justify that that trip actually provided more to my bottom line. And my goal of doing that is through creating content on YouTube and other social media to help promote the affiliate income, which is like systems and softwares that I promote 
um, as well as to encourage people to send me deals. People will see me living that lifestyle and they'll be like, oh my goodness, I want to be like Nathan. And I'll be like, hey, uh, get my CRM. And then I'll be like, get privy. And then I'll be like, then send, then sell me your deals, right? And then when the IRS is like, yo, you spent six months traveling, like I'm gonna give you an audit. If they give me an audit, I can be like, look, it's legit. See, on this day, I recorded this. On this day, I recorded that. On that day, I recorded that. Look at how this marketing activity directly contributed to my bottom line. And they'd be like, okay, justifiable. <clears throat> Hey, Brandy. It's Nathan Harris. I just sent you my offer for property address. Period. Did you receive it? Question mark. Bam. In my KPIs, that puts us at six offers submitted. It's fantastic. It really is. Boom. Let's hit that refresh button. And well, it's refreshing. I have to use washroom. So hold on. Exactly what I wanted. That's why I ordered it. It is a female USB Type C to Lightning adapter, and it's really, really important because I need it for my drone, and my drone is going to be part of the marketing in Mexico. It's going to help me get my shots. Okay. Next. This one is for a bandit. So I'm gonna politely tell Chris, hey Chris, we're gonna pass on this one. Hey, Chris, I'm going to pass on property address. There are a few good comps. Thanks. I'm very nice. I try to be nice. Abandon. Let's try that again. Abandon again. Okay, cool. Now, we need to call more leads. <clears throat> because we've only submitted six offers, and we need to get to 20 offers today. So we're gonna check out the unassigned leads. See how many are there. And we're just gonna start assigning them to myself. People are like, yo, that's the last lead. Don't take it. Leave at least one in the jar so you don't feel like a dick. 
Um, that's just a cognitive bias. I will take the last cookie in the jar. Don't try me. I will take the last cookie in the jar. Okay. All right. Eugenio is our next person. We're going to pull it up on Zillow first. Share this tab. like there's no age of the roof ac or water heater now as much as i'm vibing with this music i do have to turn it down because we are about to start dialing again but we'll keep it lightly running in the background Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on 4th Ave. Uh, the 4th Ave in Homestead, yes? Yes. Still available. Hey, so I was about to run my numbers, but I realized it's missing some information um, on in the public remarks. I, I'm not a realtor, so I don't get to see the private remarks. I wanted to confirm the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and if there's any major issues I should budget for. Uh, no, everything uh, was pretty much the, the AC is about 10 years old. Okay. Uh, but the roof was replaced in 2017. Uh, in 2017, after Irma. Okay. How about uh, the water heater? The water heater, I don't have that information. That's okay. It's not too expensive. Um, it's, it's, it's in a state. It's in a state sale. Okay. So it's a little bit difficult to obtain information that um, otherwise I would have. You know. Um, the, the original owner passed away. He was the one that was maintaining it. And now the kids are the ones selling it and it's through an estate, through an attorney and, the, and a judge. Okay. Is, is that all sorted out now? Or like, are they in agreement? Are they in conflict? Yeah, yeah. No, the, 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 the probate has been done. The amounts have been, uh, already scheduled, you know, so everything, once the closing uh, occurs and everything's going to be dispersed in, in the, in the order that the judge placed. It's nothing, nothing, there's nothing in conflict anymore. Okay. And the occupancy of it, is it tenant occupied? It's actually, yeah, it's tenant occupied and there's 10 people living in the house. Right now. Oh my God. Yeah. They're, they're month to month. Um, but they're not going to be a problem to get out of there. I can tell you that right now. They, they're undocumented people and. They, they, <laughs> oh yeah, I, it's starting to sound heartless, but all you got to do is show up and just and just say police, yeah. and they'll run. Yeah, they, yeah, that's not going to be an issue at all to get them out of there. Yeah, I, I, we we could at least give them like uh, you know hundred bucks each and be like, all right. Yeah, not only that. I mean, if you if you are if you're an investor and you want to keep them in there, I mean, they, let, I'll tell you one thing. I was expecting to see that house torn to pieces when I before I showed up there because I was told. Or ten guys living in there, um, but that when I got there, surprisingly, the house is in really good condition. They keep it clean. They didn't know I was going to show up. I, I I literally gave them an hour and a half of um, of you know that, that I was that I was going to show up an hour and a half before that. So they didn't have time to do anything. So they they maintain the house pretty clean. And if you're an investor, uh, they've been there since 2012. I would just up the rent and keep them in there. I mean, uh, they they pay every month without an issue hmm interesting what are they paying they keep the house clean uh oh they're they're paying two thousand dollars right now For you, the can whole easily, pro, you, you can probably double that yeah okay cool well i'm gonna run my numbers and then i'll let you know what i can pay for it what email should i send my offer to uh tony three one zero four dot er at gmail.com and i'll tell you right now i've been getting uh i've been getting offers from investors and i present them i have to present everything obviously but the um the attorney that's handling the deal the anything 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 under four hundred thousand, they just completely dismiss right away that's what's been happening right now uh they entertain one that was for 405 
they never signed it. Um, and they're waiting on more offers to come in. I, I just put it on the market not too long ago, but I haven't been able to show it um, much because of uh, how busy I've been and kind of trying to coincide with the, the tenants to be able to show it. It's been kind of an issue. Okay, I gotcha. All right, well, I won't be offended if I get auto declined. All right, no problem. You got anything else as well that I can take a look at? Uh, no, that's the, the, the other stuff that 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 estate contains uh, is already under contract. Okay. Okay, cool. No worries. Awesome. Well, and I pronounce your name uh, Eugenio, right? Eugenio Rodriguez. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, Eugenio, thank you very much. And I'll, uh, I'll fire off that email to you shortly and then I'll send you a text after I, I got that off to you. All right. Sounds good. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Move that to underwriting. Refresh. Track our KPIs. That's another MLS list called, another major conversation. And now Alvin, my underwriter, wants to talk to me. So let me uh let me tell him hi. Cool. So Alvin was just asking me because we had a, um, Nate says, bro, can you make your computer screen a little bit bigger? I actually purposely make it too small for you guys to read. Um, and the reason why is because some people will, will literally be like, what is he about to offer? And then they'll go offer on the same property. So I purposely make it a little bit too small so that you guys can have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, but also it's, you know, in illegible, um, and you're unable to like truly see, um, the properties. Okay, cool. So next one, Scott Klein.
Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on 19th Street. Yes. Hey, so I'm looking at this as a buyer. I'm not an agent. Um, I don't get to see the private remarks. Do you have the age of the roof, AC, water heater? And are there any major issues with this property I should budget for? Uh, the water heater is a couple. It's, it's an old house. It's, it's a single guy that's uh, been there about 18 years. I mean, he's done minimal maintenance on it. It does have a metal roof on it, so the roof's fine. How old AC's is it? older. And the water heater is only a couple of years old. Okay, so metal roof. How old is the metal roof? You know, I'm not real sure. I'm going to say it's probably at least 18 years old. And there, it was probably on there when he got it. Okay, sounds like it needs everything. But the insurance companies, you know, they're looking at metal roofs these days at least 30 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the the guy is still living there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Okay. What what email should I send my offer to? Uh, you can send it to Scott Klein Realtor Gmail dot com. Wow, you got that one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Scott Klein Realtor at Gmail dot com. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Um, hey, quick question for you before I get started on this. The, the price is pretty high. Um, I don't I don't see it going anywhere near that price. Why Why is he asking that much? Am I missing something? He's 80 years old. He's trying to get as much as he can to relocate to his, you know, closer to his family. And just, you know, he's still got a mortgage on it. He's got to pay that off. And, you know, he's just trying to get as much as he can. Okay. So I should make off anything, on, way. You know, anything in the 200s. I mean, he's going to look at it for sure. You know, if he's going to, it's going to be a hundred, is 150 going to buy it? No chance. Okay. Well, I know for sure it's not going to be in the two hundreds, but I will submit my offer. Um, we'll, we'll see what it comes out to. And I won't yeah, be offended if he says no. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten four or five offers from investors already, you know, and we've looked at them, but that's all we've done. We don't even respond to them. What are, are they coming in around 150? Uh, I've had some, uh, lower and some higher. Okay. I, yeah, I'd probably be around the same as the other guys. You know, we all run our numbers pretty similar. Um, but let me see what it comes out to, and and I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I send it over to you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Take care. Uh -huh. Thanks, sure enough. Bye. Okay. So we will put that into underwriting. <clears throat> cool. That's in underwriting now. Update. X, refresh, track our KPIs. So that's another MLS listing called, another agent conversation. So we're at 27 MLS listings called, 14 agent conversations, three agents added, six written offers, um, six agent follow-up SMS, two wholesaler follow-up SMS. We have 10 properties in underwriting right now that are actively being worked on. And how much time do I have left in the day? I have till 3 p.m. Uh, I have till 2.45 p.m. to be submitting offers. So we'll just keep going. Okay, hey, we're gonna pull it up on Zillow first. Sorry, one second. Gotta wish people happy birthday real quick. There's a couple of people here. People love it when you wish them happy birthday. Makes them feel recognized and important. <clears throat> so I try to wish everybody happy birthday. Um, everybody on my Facebook friends list because it'll tell me that it's their birthday. So I just go through, just let them all know 
happy birthday. Okay, cool. There we go. That's all of them. Awesome. Hey, Sandra Ali. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Urbana Avenue. Yes. So I was about to run my numbers on it, but I, I realized there wasn't really any information in the public remarks. I'm not a realtor, so I don't get to see the private remarks. I wanted to confirm the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and if there's any major issues I should budget for. So the house they have she bought it in 2011 nothing has been done the seller never lived in the property um i know that she has like a small leak on the if you're looking at the house on the right hand of the house but that was that was kind of like a little leak they you know she found somebody they fixed it um it's you know the house is livable i don't i mean i don't know the AC works fine. So everything's in working condition. I just don't know that she has done any work to it since she got it in 2011. Okay. Okay. And is it, is it currently vacant, owner occupied, tenants? Um, so I show the property, the, 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 the relative of the seller is not there at the moment. Um, so, you know, I can take you to see it if you said you're not a realtor, right? No. Okay. So I can take you to see it. Um, um, this week I will be out. Um, I can show it at 637 um, just because I'm taking a class this week for re re redoing my license. Nice. And um, Friday I can probably do a four o'clock, but um, okay. I'm totally messed up this week. <laughs> no worries. How about this? Let's let me run my numbers. Let me make sure that, you know, it's going to make sense and then we'll walk it. Okay. That sounds good. Um, so is this for you or is this for someone else? This is as an investment. Oh, it's an investment. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, nothing has really been done to the property. It is a, a great area. Um, the lot is pretty big in the back. Um, there's partial, um, um, one of half of the, the, fence fell in the back but i i don't know that the fence is hers i think it was from the other side and they never repaired it um those are things that if you needed those answers i can find them out um but as of right now you know that you know how the house stands okay okay and w i'm curious before i get started on this one what's what's going on with the price why are they asking so much um it's it, the price is based on everything that's in the area um she does know that it's going to go for closer to 210 to 15 um but she wanted to kind of put it high so that because she has not done anything to the house so she knows that they're probably going to re request credits for the roof you know um and you know if they do an inspection there might be other things that might come up she's just allowing room for it to go down but if she lowers it she will not um, be providing seller's credits because obviously she's already accounted for that okay 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 let me run my numbers let me see what it comes out to i i can't say that i'm going to be over the 200 mark item have, have you guys gotten any offers on it yet we have gotten offers but they were um under 170. yeah and it's just investors doing you know um giving those numbers yeah, we all, well, all of us, we all run our numbers pretty much the same way. So we're all going to be in the very similar range. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see what I come out to and I'll, I'll email it to you. What email should I send my offer to? Um, Sandra Lee, I'm going to spell it out for you. Okay. S-A-N-D-R-A-L-I mm -hmm. dot Cruz, C-R-U-Z okay. at lptrealty.com. Okay. 
Okay, cool. I'll yeah. uh, I'll put together that and then I'll send it to you and I'll send you a text right afterwards. Yes, I can confirm that I received it. Yeah, because you know sometimes I don't get notifications for that email. Um, so yeah, if you send me a text, I'll I'll definitely take a look. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Ethan. Take care. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we're going to put that in underwriting. Let me ask Ernesto for feedback on property address. <clears throat> cool. Crickets. <gasps> oh no. So we're we have the one that we locked it up. It's locked up a little bit too high. <clears throat> hey Alvin, come on, dude. Where's my under right now? I'm gonna hit that refresh button. Get some nice fresh data. <laughs> Skyler says, where's the energy? You need to bust out some push-ups. Get that blood pumping in the big old brain. All right, bet. We will get the energy going. Shake it up. Shake it up. I'm going to go to the washroom. One second. Boom. All right. Let's pull this one up on Zillow.
state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Nathan Harris. Hello. Hey, Sabim. My name is Nathan. Hello. I'm calling about the property that you have listed on Palma Court. I wanted to see if that's still available. <laughs> well, I could tell you what. Um, I'm waiting for the sellers to make a decision. We was accepting all offers up until yesterday. But if you can get me, because I'm still out, if you can get me an offer, um, um, by, you know, four o'clock, I would say I can still forward it over to the, the seller. Yeah, no problem. For sure. Um, okay. What's the, uh, I just wanted to confirm the AC. How old is the AC? Um, let me get to a stopping point. Let me park. Okay. And then are, are you a, are you an agent? No. Or are no, you the actual I'm, buyer? I'm the buyer. Okay. Because I, I know all those documents was made public, but if you can't see them, just let me park and I'll look. I want to say the AC, I don't want to quote it. So let me just park real quick and Is then it original or I can give you that Do info. you know if it's been replaced? It seemed like the AC wasn't that old. It's the roof that is 21 years old. That's the original roof. I don't believe the AC was the original AC. Okay, well, I'll, I'll run so my... just give me a minute because... Sure, no worries, no rush. I'll run my numbers as if we don't need to replace the AC. Um, and then when I submit my offer, if for some reason we do, it will just uh, make the adjustment. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll stop. Just hold on one second. Okay, you can just text it to me. Um... Yeah. Text it to you. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll text you the um, the seller's disclosure. Thank you, okay? Bye. No problem. Mm, bye bye. <clears throat> ah, crap! Forgot to get her email. Okay, just texted her. So we will put this in the waiting for info. And we'll count that as another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. <clears throat> um, Skylar says, Nathan, do you use AI for wholesaler outreach? At this moment, no, but I would actually love to build a wholesaler outreach AI bot. That'd be really freaking cool. I could do that. Hey, Gorbin. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you listed on Ocean Trace. So I'm interested yes, in it for myself. I'm not an agent. I don't get to see the private remarks. I wanted to confirm the age of the roof, AC, water heater. You got that info? <clears throat> 
I do. Um, the, the roof is new. I think it was put on last year in October, I believe. Okay. Uh, if it matters what month, I can get it. Ah, uh, okay. But it's new. That's uh, that's a big thing. The HVAC is original, but it's been repaired. Um, not that it was broke, but it just I think you just had it like you know like a tune up. They said it's working fine. The house is 2001, I believe, and um, the water heater. I haven't even looked at it because it's a. Uh, Pretty much like a, somebody needs to come in there and do a, a rehab. So yeah, uh, that'd probably be the least of their works at the water heater. Of course, yeah, it's not that big of an item, but it's cool to know, you know, a grand or two. I I can get it. Dude. That's okay. It, it's not the end of the world. Um, it won't throw us off a whole bunch. I'm assuming this is vacant. Like, there's no squatters in there or anything. Mm, yeah, no squatters. Okay. Cool. Hey, and uh, before I get to work on it, what's what's going on with the price? Why are they asking so much? Um, so the ARV on that would be about damn sixty-five. So that's why we priced it to that. Yeah. I mean, what, what you there's very few properties going for eight sixty-five. Most of them are going for like seven fifties and lower. Did I you did, see where yeah. It's, it's on the east side of A one A, so I got comps. As close as the street, you know, stuff for eight ninety. Yeah, uh, but the neighborhoods change a lot. Like work. the like each neighborhood is like very different dynamics. Yeah, well, that's a good one. Um, I mean, there's houses on that street that have been appraised for a million. So that's um, it has beach access. You can drive straight onto the beach. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if I was to list it, I would. If it was done, I would have no problem listing it at eight sixty for. But. Hmm. Okay, let me run my numbers. Let me see what it comes out to. Um. What What email should I send my offer to? Yeah. If you, I'm, well, honestly, uh, brother, if you're if you're looking to flip it, the, the margins are going to be tight. Um. Because it's going to need about a hundred grand of work. Uh. He has a seven sixty five. Put a hundred grand in. You're at eight sixty five. There's no money to be made on it. Um. With that said, I think the best exit route and the best person to buy this house is somebody looking to buy it for themselves that wants to have a beach house that they can, you know, they don't see anything on the market that they like and they can come in and renovate this one. Yeah. A fun project. For it's going to be couple. really hard to find somebody with or, that much money in cash available that's not a flipper and that's not willing to, you know, make a profit yeah, on you it. Yeah, can get, you can get conventional. You can get conventional. And I, ha I just showed it to a couple that uh, today. Okay. Where I got that scenario from. Okay. Um, and then the second option would be to Airbnb it. I might hold it, but I don't know about Airbnb. Let, let me run my numbers and let, 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 let's talk after I run my numbers. That way we got some data to go off of. Okay. Yeah, I guess I was just doing it to save you time. If you if you were going to come and like say, hey, you know, we can do six, 650, 690, <clears throat> anywhere under you know the list price considerably he's not gonna accept so it may just not be the right one okay what email should i send my offer to um corbin the realtor at gmail.com damn you got that one yeah that's me gmail.com corbin the realtor at gmail.com that's me. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, let me get to work on it and I will send that to you and send you a text afterwards, okay? Okay. All right, man. Thanks, Corbin. Take care. So <clears throat> I think Corbin is actually concerned to tell his seller um, the offer, but I want to have it on the books either way. Um, I want to make sure that he has it either way because eventually the seller is going to have to sell. <clears throat> Okay, let's update my KPIs. It's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Cool.
Let's refresh and see what info we have. Thank you, Netting. <clears throat> I don't know if you're watching live or if you're watching like in the past, but I am well past eating my meal by now. You might be like watching with like an hour behind. Okay, let's call the next one David Smalls. <clears throat> or, no, I don't know where David Smalls went. He just disappeared on me. Um, so we'll call Beth Marat. We'll pull it up on Zillow. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. So we're going to call them and ask. Hey, Beth, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Seneca Drive. Sorry, Seneca Street. Yeah. So yeah. I'm interested in it for myself. I'm not an agent. Um, I wanted to confirm some of the big ticket items, like the age of the roof, AC, okay. water heater. Do you have that? Okay, the age of the roof is 14 years old. It's a flat roof. All right. There is no hot water heater because it was really old, so we took it out. Okay. The air conditioner, I couldn't tell you how, the age of it. Okay. Um, is it currently occupied or vacant? I would assume with no hot water, it's vacant. It's vacant. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Yeah, that, that was really all I needed to know. What email should I send my offer to? You can send it to Florida, spelled out, F-L-O-R-I-D-A, short sales, S-H-O-R-T, sales with an S, dot L-L-C at gmail.com. Okay. Shorta, sorry, uh, Florida, Florida, Florida short, short sales. sales dot L-L-C at gmail.com. This one here, is this one a short sale? Correct. Okay. No. That's ideal in short sales, though, but no, this is not a short okay. sale. Yeah, usually I pass on the short sales. They're usually, like, very difficult. There's a lot of bureaucracy involved. That's that's my specialty. I do them for other agents throughout the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I, I've known for. Wow. But uh, You have a lot yeah. of patience. I'm very good at paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I am terrible. That's That's... Everything goes to the TC. I just tell me what it is and hopefully I understand it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the email address so if you send that over. Sounds good. Will do. I'll send you a text after I send it, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Beth. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to put that into underwriting. We are going to track our KPIs. So we're at 31 MLS listings called, 18 conversations.
we'll just put that up on the screen. Skyler, if Canadians weren't so polite, that would be racist. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. All right, let me call this one. <laughs> Please hold while I try to connect you. Oh, bro, come on. I literally do not care for anybody that has a voicemail and an answering service. Abandon answering service. Like, I am not going to waste my time. On to the next. Okay, so this one here, <clears throat> let me put my screen back up. I don't know why that disappeared. Nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. So we're gonna dial. And the person we're calling is Jill. <laughs> to an automatic voice message system six four six two three dial. two Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Damn, dude, you think you're, you're, you're like an extra two inches on Cody? Yeah, I just showed mine too. Dope. This person put me in his story. Jordan put me in his story. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So this person that we just called didn't answer. So we're going to put them in the no response category. And we are going to track our KPIs. So that'll be 32 MLS listings called. All right. Now we have two more in underwriting complete. So we can make an offer. Purchase price 500,000. I would need this at like 480. Offer template. Address, purchase price. Or eighty EMD five thousand uh, 
and I will email it to them. I will say offer for property address. Send. Hey. Stuart. I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? <clears throat> and that will be another written offer submitted, which puts us at seven. And we'll put them into the underwriting complete category. And then we have our next one. Offer template. Pop the information in. That's my POF. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Send. I thought I lost it for a second. SMS. Hey. Hey, Drian. It's Nathan Harris. I just sent you my offer for property address, period. Did you receive it? And I will track that down as another offer submitted. <clears throat> Puts us at seven. We will put her in the offer submitted category. We're going to do a quick refresh to see if there's any fresh offers to be submitted. Oh, yeah, there is. Nice. Okay, let's grab the price. There you go. <clears throat> and 
and I let them know I just sent my offer and that's another written offer puts us at nine offers submitted. Sweet. And we'll put them into the offer submitted category. Let's hit that refresh again. See if any new data popped up. George says, do you usually use uh, bar bar agreements for all of your contracts or only when a realtor asks for it? I always put my contracts on bar bars unless I have to otherwise, just because it's the most standard form in Florida. So it's just nice and easy. Everybody understands it. Um, yeah. But when I make my offers, I just send them my offer template. And then if they want to write it up, we write it up. Okay, so I have 10 properties in the underwriting category and I've submitted nine offers. I would like to get outside and see the sun um, as well as I have like 80 something. Let me check. I think I have like 80 or 90 messages. Um, sorry, I have 108 messages that I have to respond to and then I have to uh, do a buyer bot handoff and um, uh, AI CRM onboarding, and I have to host a breathwork call. So I'm going to bounce, um, but I appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our systems call. So make sure you're there. All right. Love you guys. See you later.